Good morning, guys. All right, how is everybody? How are we doing? Come on in. Let's have some fun. Hey, hey, hey. So, my shirt is what inspired me to do these colors. The only thing is, is I don't have leopard print material. So, this is what we're doing. Hey, Teresa and Teresa. Hope everybody's had a good Monday. Yes, I know my computer needs to update. Go away. Okay. Right now, I am just putting in my zip ties, trying to minimize some of the time. Because when we get done, if I got time, we might make something else. Don't know yet. Thank you, thank you. We are going to be working with the small board tonight. We are making a fall flower. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Donna. We are making a fall spiral flower. Hey, Helen. I think I cut enough petals, but you never know. If I have to, I'll cut more. Thank you, love. So, yeah, come on in, y'all. Let's have some fun. Let's make a flower. Let's have some quality craft talk, quality time. Let's de-stress and clear our minds. Okay, so this is what I've got. I've been working on filling up my zip ties. So while everybody is getting on, hey Lynn, I'm gonna point this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to finish loading my board. I am using shared holes tonight. Hey, April. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Passing out the love. Love one another. The letters. What do you mean? That would be cool. What are the letters? What letters are you talking about, Kathy? Oh, on my board? Ah, because I'm using this plaid. Teal. And orange. A, B. And orange. Hey Jan, welcome ladies. Vermont in the house, Texas in the house, we have Indiana in the house, Florida. We got everybody in the house. That's what they're for, Kathy. I might and I might not go buy them. 
but I was trying to count out how many I needed of each color. So I wrote on the board. Sometimes it's helpful. Oh, thank you. I try. We are doing the Dean Michael fold tonight. I'm going to make this similar to my sunflower, only it's going to be a spiral. I had to be organized tonight. I didn't want to have to cut all 60 petals with you guys live. That would have been boring. Hey, Donna. Is there bad weather? Hi, Pat. Um, the orange and the teal are both poly burlap, and the the plaid one is um, a poly jute mesh. They're all cut at ten inches. So they're 10 inch squares, and I got them at Hobby, uh, not Hobby Lobby, I keep wanting to say Hobby Lobby, Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet is the place where I buy most of my mesh. So that is where I got it. And they're just leftover roll rolls that I just wanted to use up. I more than likely will order more. Now the last time I made this flower I sold it off the live. So this is not a custom order. I'll go ahead and say that first and foremost. It is available. Oh yeah, the, the fires, it's been smoky here. In Vermont, I know they've been flooded. Um, the teal and the orange, I used a wood burner. I used a wood burner. And the other one, because I didn't want to mess it up because it has like a jute in it, and I didn't want to burn it, so I just cut it with my rotary. So, welcome to my page. Those of you that are new or just joining, my name is Tammy with Unique Reads by Tammy. The one and only. Um, you're welcome. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to stop right there with these for right now. Here's our flower center. I've already went ahead and put my stuff on it. All right. So I'm going to start with teal. Okay. It is helpful to have a paper, not a paper clip, a clothespin of some sort. One second, y'all. Hey Loretta, hey Nancy, we made it, we made it, I'm doing my Monday dance, we made it, we made it. Alright, so you're going to need a clothespin, very, very crucial. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my hanging hook, 
Uh, I'll wait. Because I think I might use a uh, Chanel stem. But anyway, there are four rows to this board. Okay. And I'm going to use every one of them. Sharon holes and all. Um, this is the top of the board. Right here. I am using the small board. Hey, Rachel. So I am using the small board. Um, I'm going to use every one of the holes. Okay. And I wrote on my board because it's easier for me to keep count of how many colors I needed of each. Um, but my placement might not be exact. Okay. So you want to start, start at the top, not at the bottom or the middle. Okay. So you're going to take your, your poly burlap. These are cut at 10 inch squares. And you want your factory edge on the top and bottom. Turn it to a diamond shape. And fold it into a diamond, just like that. Yes, ma'am, they are. They are the small four inch zip ties. This is where you'll take your clip and put it at your point. Okay. I like to turn it sideways. It's easier for me to, to hold it. Stretch it just a little. Pull it up in the center. That looks like a, uh, what do you call them? Stingrays. Okay. And you're just going to gather it. And I usually tuck the corner. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so then it looks like this. Then you can fan it out. And there you go. Voila. Hey, my dukes. If I'm missing comments, I'm sorry. My computer is further away from me than normal. And I can't see. So let me move it closer so I can see. So if anybody has any questions and I don't catch it, one of the other ladies will that have been following me for quite some time. I set them myself. Okay. We're going to have little stragglers, so it's best not to pull it, but just to clip it. Okay, I'm doing two teal. Okay. Turn it to a diamond. Pinch it and then gather it. This one because it's got the jute in it. And I didn't know if it would burn, so I didn't want to use my wood burner on it.
So did everybody have a good Monday? I watched you some, Rachel, but it was hard to watch everything because I was at work. You're welcome. Okay. Now I'm going to do my plaid. I'm going to do two of each. Uh, yeah. I prefer the poly burlap because it's more sturdier. But you can use regular deco mesh too. Yes, ma'am. Your flowers are so pretty. Yes, ma'am. Give me one second and I'll show you one that I've done it to. This is one I did not too long ago. It's on the large board. And there's two bows on it. Thank you. Yeah, I use these boards way more than I use the uh, wire frames. They are my go-to. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Lynn. But yes, I have made several. I can turn my camera so you can see some of them. There's some up there. Whoops. I mean, they're all over my room. But yes, these are my go-to boards. I make a whole lot of stuff on them. Thank you. Most of the time I get them on Craft Outlet. But I know you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on the Unique in the Creek. Uh, her page. Um... I think, was it Deco Exchange? I can't remember. There's so many places that you can get them. Where do I buy the wreath frame? Um, these I bought at Craft Outlet. Yes, Hobby Lobby. However, when I was there Saturday, they didn't have none. I was, it was a bummer because I was wanting to buy a bunch of them. Because that, this is my last small one and I have two large boards left and I'm, I'm done. So I have got to place an order. Um, April, I think it's Craft Outlet. If you use Craft Outlet, you uh, spend so much, you get free shipping, and you earn points. You're welcome. 
Y'all, I've still got a headache, but I'm here. Because I have to. I have to do it. This is the last live this week. I have a craft fair coming up Saturday, so I need to prepare for it. Thank you. Yeah, you can order them. Um, they do come in different shapes. There is the smaller one that is 12 inches. And then they got the large one, I think it's 15 inches. And they have an oval shape. They have a cross. They have a triangle, rectangle board, um, the horse head. And something else. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I love this shirt. Yes, 69 free shipping. It's beautiful. I love it. I will probably be placing an order tonight. And then again, I may wait till after Saturday. Earn some more money and then worry about ordering stuff. Yes, the ring board. Thank you, Teresa. I love making wreaths. It's my happy place. Like I said, these are all 10 inch squares. Nope, but I plan on it. No, I haven't. I'm not sure about the dragon. It's neat and everything, but I don't think it's I don't think where I'm where I'm located it would be a seller. But I am definitely going to be doing a horse head. And the, I'll give you a hint, it will be a Christmas horse. So as soon as I find all the materials I need to make it, that will be made. And you can turn these any way you want to, whichever way it wants to fold. Oh, did you? Cool. I can't wait to do the horse one. Somebody asked me the other night about it, if I had a tutorial, and I don't. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I should make one. Here's what we have so far. I got a really cool project I'm going to be doing. I can't wait to do it either. It's the uh, book wreath. Using book pages. Thank you. I am too. It's going to be so different from anything I've ever done.
Yes, ma'am. No, I think I'm going to have to use a wire frame or I was thinking about getting one of those uh, green uh, foam wreaths, I think they're called. I think, I think, I think. Whenever I'm going to go live, Linda, I always post. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going back to teal. What it looks like is I'm going to have to wrap it around the frame and then take some that and roll it up like scrolls and then use my twine and just kind of lightly or loosely tie it and then glue it down. So I'm excited to make it. Yeah, April, I want to see it. What Rachel said. Yay! Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Yes, the ice cream one that she did last night was very pretty. Different. I like it because it's different. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I usually just plan it out in my head. And then when I get home, I kind of place my colors together and decide from there which way I want them to go. Hang on just a second, I forgot to do some. Okay. Now the t the uh, now we go with this one. And this will get very big. There you go. You did the song books.
Whoops. Just throw it on the floor, Tammy. You didn't need it anyway. Oh, wow. Okay, now we're going to the orange. And it's very important when you're making these that your factory edge is the same all the way around. Oh, cool. Another orange. So how was everybody's day? I don't know if I already asked that or not, but anyway, I'll ask again. That's what I cut. I may need more. I don't. I don't know. But I was thinking twenty of each, so that's how I cut it. Um, she's supposed to have hip surgery Wednesday. You're welcome. Teresa, how's Charlie doing today? Have you gotten to talk to him since yesterday? I bet he's excited to come home.
Okay. Oh no. Is he all right? He's a man. He's just trying to do it on his own. It's hard when you can't be independent like you once was. And then you gotta depend on others to help you and it makes you feel useless or worthless or I forget the word I'm trying to use. Oh, yeah. It is hard. Hopefully he'll he'll feel better once he's home. There you go. It'll all work out the best way it's supposed to. But it's all in God's time. Even when we want it to happen on our time. That's the first row is done. There you go. Here's what we got so far, guys. Now I'm going to go on the inside and I'm going to start, thank you, I think I'm going to start right here with the orange, okay, I think. Thank you, let me look at this real quick. Because I want it to spiral, so I started here. So my teal needs to go over here.
All right, so I'm going to start right here. I decide is if I'm going to use two color, two of the same, or am I going to do one? I'm thinking one. Like I said, it's a changing pattern, you know. I gotta make it do right. Um, because I didn't want to put it on the same right here I wanted to move it over so it has that swirl that spiral effect where it just kind of I'm hoping that's what it's going to turn out like that's my plan I have it in my head where it looks like that That's why. Once you get the other layer on there, it'll start it'll lay down a little easier. Hey Sandra. Questions coming everywhere. All right. I do too. Eyeballs. What's the eyeballs for? You look just kind of watching. 36 eyeballs. <laughs> You're funny. It's down to 31 now, I think. I need my page to grow. No, I just moved my camera. I'm out of there. Forty. All right. Forty-one. Yes, ma'am. Hey, 
Hey, Lori. Oh, don't be afraid. They're so much fun once you get started with them, then it becomes addicting. Then you can't put it down. Yep, exactly. Once you make one, you're hooked on them. Oops, we're coming undone. There we go. See, it's kind of sort of getting that oops, spiral effect with the colors. Is what I'm trying for. See? All the way around. So it's going to look different. It's not going to look perfect. Which, in my opinion, no flower is perfect. Thank you, April. Absolutely, Robin. Take the leap. You will find yourself working with them more and more. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong one, Tammy. Grab the wrong one. Yes. I don't know why I grabbed the orange. There's another way you can do these petals too. The Dean Michael. Yes. You can. And there's the other way you can do it. I can get the 60 tonight. We will play a game. Oh, of course. If we can get at least 60, we will play a game. Hey, Deanna. Thank you, Michelle. All right, so now I can grab the orange that I started working with. So how many newbies we got in here tonight? We got any new folks in here? If you are, where are you watching from? I hope so. And if I don't, it's okay. Oklahoma, welcome Trudy. Y'all, let's welcome Trudy to the group. You will love this group. We are all very, very friendly and love each other and support one another. Hi, Michelle from 
North Carolina. Juanita's from Florida. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining. And those of you that are new, my name is Tammy. And I'm with Unique Reads by Tammy, the one and only. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Or one of the other ladies will answer the question if I miss it. You're welcome, ladies. Come on in and have some fun. Pull up a seat. Grab you a Coke. Peanuts, whatever. Hey, Adele. Welcome. We have Tracy. I can't keep up. They're all flying in. So, welcome, ladies, to the group. You will enjoy this group. We are all a great group of women. Like I said, we all support each other. Yep, I got tea here. It's within my cup. Iced tea. It's a southern thing. Tennessee in the house. Gotta have me some sweet tea. I drink sweet tea more than anything. And here lately I've gotten used to um, the decaf. I'm trying to stay away from as much caffeine as possible. Florida in the house. Got a lot of... Southerners, we got a lot of we got a lot of folks in here. I like to to know where everybody's from. Yeah, I drink coffee too sometimes. But I have to be careful with what I eat and drink because for some reason my body isn't liking anything that I eat. I would burn everything but this plaid. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Where am I located? I'm in North Georgia. I know you are. I do drink a lot of water, too. North Georgia. I am near the Tennessee and North Carolina line. I can drive five minutes either way and cross the state line. I'm an hour and a half from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm 30 minutes from Murphy, North Carolina, about four hours from Mooresville, uh, yeah, Mooresville, oh wow, that's awesome, it does, that's why I didn't want to wood burn it, because I was afraid it would ruin it. Here's what we got so far, y'all. It's starting to take shape, I think. And if not, it's still going to look cool. Mint Hill, North Carolina. Awesome sauce. Thank you. All right, let me get some orange here. Yeah, that's a wonderful turnout. Thank you.
Thank you. All right, we're at 54. Let's get to 60. We will play a game. Who knows what I might give away. It could be a wreath. It could be ribbon. It could be mesh. Oh, we got 59. I show 56 on my end. My stepbrother lives in um, Lake w uh, Wiley. Or Wiley Lake Heavy Set. I did. Those are so cool. So cool. But I can't buy nothing right now. I have to be careful. I have to behave. Oh, do you? Cade's Cove ain't that far from me. <laughs> Will it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. I don't know. You know what? I'm just thankful for who all are here. So, I mean, if I don't make it to 60, that's okay. If I sell this wreath tonight, it is um, 65. Thank you. Right. Yeah, when I this one if I sell it it would be sixty five plus shipping. Oh, okay. Don't mind the noise. My husband's knocking everything down. Oh, there's a couple of Aprils in here. Welcome, ladies. How do I sell them? I'll sell them from a live, or I do craft shows, or I now have an Etsy shop, or I sell them on, by word of mouth, through uh, Facebook. Oh, I'm going to bed. Teresa said hi, Muffin Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you too. See you in the morning. Maybe. Oh, that's awesome. Turner's made it in the bowl with the red lid. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. That means a lot. Oh, did you? That's awesome. I got a surprise today, too. I was quite pleased with it. I cut 20 of each color. And I stopped there. And it will, when I get done, if it looks like it needs more, I will add more to it. Um, I do square. I have PayPal, but I prefer using my square card. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the shipping. Yep, I use Square. I have used my PayPal. But most of the time I use my Square. Um, it's just easier. I can I know how to send the invoices out a little easier with it. Because I haven't messed around with uh, PayPal much to really, I don't know, send out invoices with it. Oh, really? No, I didn't see that. I haven't watched any news. Mine, I can plug it into the phone. I have the card reader. I have the piece that plugs into my phone. I have the little square piece where you can tap the card or put it in. And I can go online and type it in manually. Thank you. If any other newbies came in, I missed you. I'm sorry. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. See, this is huge. This is getting big. Big and beautiful. Thank you. You know, these are some of my favorite colors. I love the earth tones. I love fall colors. It matches my shirt. So I'm loving it. I am using the small board. I thought about using the large board, but then I changed my mind. It would have been a massive flower. Yep. I punch in the, the amount and then they they stick their card in the reader and then I go from there. Nope. I'm just using the shared holes. Now I'll add extra holes if I do the Star Trek pedal. Which I haven't done the Star Trek pedal in a year. I need to do another one of those. Excuse me, it's the Dean Michael. It is the Dean Michael. I like to tuck my corners in. 
I like to tuck them in here. Just makes it easier so they don't pop back out. Ooh, what colors? You gonna do it live? <laughs> I make the sunflower quite often. It's one of my best sellers. Uh, you can do it with a rotary, but it, preferably with the poly burlap, it's better to use um, the wood burner because it cuts down on the fraying. Now, this one that I'm folding now because it has the jute in it, I was afraid it would burn. Ooh, I bet that's going to be pretty. Can't wait to see that. Yep. Yep, always check your mesh because some of it is ten and a half by ten yards. Yep, when you cut your mesh, make sure you cut it exactly square. So if it's ten and a half inches, you gotta cut it at ten and a half. Oh yeah? Peacocks are so cool. I'm telling you, Michelle, you can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Yep, one second. Let me finish folding this. I'm using every row, all four rows. There's four rows on the small board. Um, row one, there's no, I didn't use any shared holes. Row two, I use shared holes. I know, right? Thanks, Kathy. Um, row three, I'm using shared holes. And then this last one, I might use Sharon holes and I might not. It just depends on um, how full it looks before I put my center on. Awesome, April. I want to see you do it. So yeah, I'll flip it over, but row one, I only used the regular holes. 
Thank you, Phyllis. So I only used the regular holes on row one. Row two, so you can see it looks like stitching. I used shared holes. Row three is going to be shared holes, and I'm not sure about row four. These two holes right here in the center are for this. See, it'll go right there. I love it. I'd love to sell it too. Hey Jessica. No, I wouldn't laugh at you, but I do want to see you do it. Thank you. It's okay. It is okay. All right, moving on. Whoops, get out of there. Time for the teal. I would definitely watch you make it, April. But I would not laugh at you. Laughing at somebody's not nice. Especially when they're learning to do something. Okay. Yeah, it won't do it through the live. Yeah, go, go ahead and send it to me through Messenger, and after the live, I'll take a look at it. All right, what did I do? Let me fix this. Let me know when you send it. Leanne, what do you think? I'll make it. <laughs> uh, you are nice. Never, never thought you were mean. She's gnawing on it now. Don't give it to her hole. She just gnaws on it. Don't give it to her hole. Chloe. Teresa said, hey. Hey. Chloe. Stop it. Hang on, Sander. Chloe, drop it. Drop it. I thought she bit you for a minute. No. I guess she knows not to bite you. I haven't said my name to myself yet. You'd be nice. Um, the first designer I ever watched, I want to say that is Julie's Wreath Boutique. Oh. Kelly. No, Kelly was next. Oh. And then it was Kelly Limones with Lemon Wreaths. Limones? Y'all are too funny. That's why I love you. And I'm funny looking. Thanks. If you do it this week, April, it would be perfect because then I'm not live after tonight. Why? <laughs> She's hiding out. <laughs> She's silently watching. Well, 
Leanne, you didn't break these small enough. I don't have time to she catch a dog it. from choking. She won't. She just gnaws on it. Yeah, Kelly is amazing. She, yeah, she got. I like to watch Kelly, Patricia. Um, I like to watch all of them. But it's hard to keep up because so many of us do lives now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more for this row. Oh, I didn't even see them yet. I'll have to go on her page. 3D is pretty cool. Absolutely. I agree. What? I know you didn't go to the dollar store and not get me no pizza stuff. Alright, let me look. Now I have nothing for lunch. Well, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I like that. All right. That's really pretty. I like that. There you go, my friend. Patricia's page is wreath sign designs. Thank you, Lynn. Notice I didn't put any of my zip ties right here in the middle. Right here. Because I want to see what's going to come out here. Then that way I can tell if I need to add more before I put my center in. You're doing great. I know, right? Absolutely, this is my happy place. There's times when I feel down and out and I'll just come back here and make something. Yeah, Crafting Creative Circle, yeah. They're awesome ladies.
Y'all, I'm starting to feel hungry. All right, now it's getting big. Oops, just throw it around. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Penny. Thank you all for joining me tonight. This has been a good night. Yes, uh, Trinity. Yeah, she makes some really pretty signs, too. <laughs> That's funny. I can organize everybody else's but my own too. I like my craft room messy. <laughs> I know where everything's at. Unfortunately, I know exactly where everything's at. I have ADD, so whenever I try to clean my craft room, I end up in one spot to the other, and then I never really finish the spot I started. It's really sad. So I, I don't know if I ever really get it clean the way I want it. Absolutely. Uh-oh, that's not good. I got wreaths out in the living room. That's funny. Yeah, it's it gets annoying. I know when mine is clean, I look at it and I'm like, okay, may how long is this going to stay clean? Absolutely.
I got Reese in the dining room, Reese in the living room. I've got my walls in here almost full. I can't put them more in here. See, when I take them to my show Saturday, I'll have like 40 wreaths to take with me. I didn't thought about it, but I didn't. One more. And then we are moving to row three. Sorry this is taking a while, but I'm going slow enough so that everybody can see what I'm doing and ask questions. That's how I like to teach. I just can't teach wreath classes and make people pay for it. I have a really hard time with that. I don't know why, but I do. And you want to take the last one that you did because you want your finished edge on top. Fix that one pedal. Thank you, April. Let me fix this one real quick. It's the only thing I don't like about using the jute sometimes with these kind of flowers because it wants to fray. Whatever you do, don't pull it. I like to make these pop. Just like that. Hey Francine. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. All right.
No, because I have a hard time making or asking somebody to pay for something that I'm already teaching for free. If that makes sense. Here's what we have so far. Ain't that pretty? Now let me find my top again. It's right here. So. Thank you. I'm going turquoise right here. Thank you, Michelle. All right. Let's start on row three. Oh yeah? I bet you'd love it. It's worth a try. Thank you, April. Okay. Yeah, that too. I see a lot of des designers do it too, but my just my mind, I don't want to have to make somebody pay for something they're already watching me do for nothing. You know? And I don't have a license, so I can't buy in bulk or anything like that. Yes, it is still available. I'm not liking that piece of mesh. Yes, this wreath is available for 65 Any of the wreaths that I make on the small board when they come to the flowers, are 65. The larger one is 75. Plus shipping. Unless you're local. Thank you. think so. That's what I sell it at my craft shows too. If it's a bigger flower it's 75. These smaller ones are 65.
<laughs> You're funny. I love you, Teresa. I've had people tell me my prices are too high. But there are people out there that want something for nothing but don't realize what goes into making something like this. Chloe, it's not going to get you. Yeah. I mean, like some, my grapevine that I did the other night, that one's 75. Somebody told me the other day that that was too high. But the doll itself that's in it was $17. Yeah. I mean, I try to be fair with my stuff, you know? I try not to overprice, and I try not, I, you know, and I don't like, like, if I'm going to buy from somebody else, I'm not going to lowball them. Yeah. Kirkland's had a wreath, and it was really pretty. I, I give them that. It was really pretty. It was just a green wreath with a few flowers on it, and they wanted $80 for it. And I couldn't figure that one out. It didn't really have much in it. So I couldn't quite figure out their method there. Yeah. I know what you mean. Mine are sitting on Etsy. They ain't moving. I had a few people like them or view them. I don't sell them through Facebook Marketplace because people try to lowball me. And I don't like Facebook knowing my information. Yeah, when I sell these at my craft show, there's 65 that I get. And nobody has a problem with it. Give me two seconds, y'all. I think I'll have enough. So, yeah, as far as the subscriber group, I just can't do it. Now, if I'm going to do a reef class here, locally... I would have to charge for it because I have to buy all the material for the ladies to make it. It's the only problem with this jute is it wants to fray. So I'm just trying to make it pretty. Now once I put it in here and I don't touch it, it's okay.
That's what I'm figuring out. Hey, Amanda, welcome. I would burn the orange and the teal. Ah, oh, thank you. Hang on, April, I'll tell you. Okay. No, I don't do them every week. I have one next this weekend, and then I don't have another one until September. So I get a little bit of a break. So I'm hoping to sell a lot that way between after Saturday show and September show, I can make quite a bit more. Because then you got um, Halloween, fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas to make. Even though I'm already making that stuff. But it's going to sell more. Thank you, Amanda. Like, I have my Christmas stuff that I've got already made from last year. That I'm going to take to my show and it's going to be on sale. So that I can push it out to pick, show my new. And I'll sell them pretty reasonable. Pretty cheap, too. Just to move them. Because I've, you know... They're from last year. Let's see something real quick. Yep, so I'm not going to be doing row four. Row three is going to be it. Yes, sale. There's going to be a sale. So this is the last row that I'm doing. This will not have leaves on it. For some reason, I don't know why, but I'm not putting leaves on it. Unless it's requested, then I will. Now, I don't know if this really looks like a spiral or not, but it's a fall flower. Beautiful flower. I hadn't made a flower in a while, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a flower.
If you see me clipping it, it's because I'm clipping any of the stragglers because I don't want them seen. And I can't let a messy wreath go. I can't sell a messy wreath, y'all. Just can't do it. Okay, let's get an orange in here. So you can shape them any way you want to. Tight squeeze. I really like this wreath, y'all. One of my favorite flowers by far. So there's going to be two teals side by side. Unfortunately. That's okay. You all got quiet on me. Are you still with me? Or my comments just not scrolling. Roll call. <laughs> Thank you, Beverly. Thank you, ladies, for sticking out with me. Sticking it out with me, I mean. We're all still here. Good deal. Flower y'all is huge. Give me just a second and I'll measure it out for you. Oh, uh, yeah? I'm going to eat and then go to bed.
No, I didn't cook out today. I am having a tuna sandwich. Ah. Uh, well, that ain't no good. You got it going on there, Lynn. I was going to make chicken, but I wasn't in the mood to cook. I wasn't hungry. So I didn't cook. Now I'm hungry. So, it's a tuna sandwich and baked lays. Sounds good. I went to Olive Garden Saturday and tore me up. I'm getting so discouraged with this whole eating thing. Yum! Oh yeah? I have an air fryer, I just ain't figured it out yet. I had chicken alfredo and who would have thought that that would upset my stomach. What is it, Chloe? Why are you crying, girl? Come here. Come here. Come here. What's the matter? Come here. Come here. Hang on, y'all. What is it, bud? What is it, bud? Take a small break here. Why are you crying, puppy? Oh no. Yeah, I've got one too. It's sitting over here in my closet. I ain't figure out how to use it. All right. Thank you. Maybe she'll stay here. Hopefully she won't jump. She's getting old. She's getting to be an old girl. Oh, that's awesome, Beverly. I'm going to have to really figure out how to use mine. I do love my Instant Pot, though. I cook just about anything in that. Oh, yeah. Sounds like it. We cook baby back ribs in our Instant Pot, and I'll tell you what, they fall off the bone. Cook them for about, I think it's 45 minutes. We let them marinate for four hours, something like that. Yes, it is more healthier. I 
don't know what I was thinking when I cut that one. I cut it 11 inches. Let me fix it. I wonder why it wouldn't line up. Oh, really? That's cool. I think if I ever get a new stove, it'll probably have an air fryer. We're almost done, ladies. the final countdown oh wow the orange and the teal are this one is not I know, right? <laughs> Last two pieces. Oh, wow. You cook for an army. I don't know. Facebook's wonky. That's correcto. Last petal.
Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Why is that not working? What are you stuck on? Okay. Thank you. Actually, I think I liked it better this way. Hang on, Chloe. Thank you, Roseanne. All right, now let's put our center on. Thank you. Yes, I love these colors. They're, I love the earth colors. There you go. One beautiful flower. That's how the layers look. Thank you. Okay, Donna. Thank you, ladies. Okay, so this measures petal to petal, 24 inches. Okay, so it's 24 inches of beauty. Oh yeah, you can make it work. Thank you. Mine does too, but she's she was crying for some reason. Oh yeah. All right. Well, once again, y'all. Let me. Fix my camera here. So I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. I had fun. I enjoyed it. You're welcome, April. You're welcome, ladies. Y'all have a good night. And I will post pictures on Facebook here shortly after I take a picture of it. And... Me and Chloe say good night. Once again, my name is Tammy with Unique Reads. Y'all have a blessed night, and I will see you next weekend. Bye.